muted. Good afternoon and welcome to our webinar today. We're going to um, start out the new year right by helping you be more successful at the 2017 International Home and Houseware Show. Thanks for joining us today. Uh, our uh, I'm having a little trouble. Oh, there we go. Uh, this, these, your presenters today will be Perry Reynolds, Debbie Tusky, John Whitman, and we have Nancy Michael on the list there. She's usually with us, but she's away visiting a trade show today. Uh, so, uh, but the point of sharing with you our phone numbers and our email addresses is that we hope that you will uh, be able to uh, reach out to us after this event. Uh, to ask us any questions and to help us uh, give us a chance to help you in any way that we might be able to. Uh, again, we'll present all of these this information at the end. In addition, we're recording this webinar and we will send you a link to the webinar shortly afterwards so you can review it or share it with anybody on your team. We will also take questions during the webinar. Uh, uh, if you wish, use the chat function um, uh, on your control box there to uh, submit those questions to us, and we'll break in with those questions um, as, as appropriate. Uh, <clears throat> we know we're getting close, but we know you've already got a plan and you're ready to roll. And um, uh, we hope that you've got that plan done. If you haven't, we encourage you to be specific, be realistic. We want you to use the resources we're going to talk about, and we'll be talking about those here shortly. We're also going to spend a fair amount of time talking about creating a follow-up plan in advance um, uh, for several aspects of uh, your work at the show. really helps to be able to hit the ground running when you get back. And we've got a lot of tools that I think can help you with that as well. Uh, the show is going to help you do a bunch of things. And some of them you've thought about, some of them you might not have thought about. But you may know there's a significant international attendance at the show. Uh, don't just be thinking about um, one sort of retailer. Think about the globe as a retailer, because we'll have a um, significant number of international attendees at the show, and many of them will be business resources for you. The other, op the other opportunity, and, and uh, we'll talk about this a little bit in a minute when we talk about the buyer list, but is a chance to work your top-to-top -to -top relationships. We are approximately 39% of the U.S. retailers who attend the show are senior managers or owners, and it gives you a chance to, I think, um, uh, have uh, create those kind of relationships that can give you some uh, longer-term business. And then Debbie, toward the, about halfway through, is going to start talking to you about how to get media exposure from the show, something you might not have thought about, but something is a, that can be of great value to you. Uh, and all of these tools begin and, begin and end um, with you using the marketing tools we offer you. Um, we're going to help you over the next few minutes talk about attracting buyers. Um, Don's going to speak briefly about how to maximize your uh, how to maximize your presence in Housewares Connect 365, which we know by going to visit retailers is a very heavily used tool for retailers in advance and even on site at the show. And then, as I mentioned, Debbie's going to talk about the consumer media. This is a kit that you would have gotten uh, last fall, uh, probably in uh, November. Uh, it was a paper mailing to you, uh, but fear not if you can't find it because all of the information is available at housewares.org slash marketing. Virtually everything we talk about today will be available there. If you can't find some of that there, please feel free to use those phone numbers and email addresses to contact us. We're going to talk a little bit about uh, buyers and uh, getting them to come uh, visit you at the, at the show. Um, and some of the tools that we have to offer. And again, we're going to divide it up between what you do before the show, which is now, and what you, what you can do during the show, some of which you have to prepare for now. Uh, and then again, as I mentioned, uh, show follow-up, getting you ready to follow up. Uh, all those wonderful leads you're going to get at the show. It's probably the most important thing that we offer you um, uh, at, uh, as an ex paid exhibitor at the show is uh, the 2016 show buyer list. Those of you who have been exhibitors for a long time may have been collecting them, uh, integrating them. We, we have them back to 1999. Um, we use them in our marketing of the show. Um, there are a bunch of customers in there. This is, um, uh, this is in Excel. It's downloadable at the address you see on the screen. Uh, it, is, um, it is free to you. There is no charge uh, to you. Uh, we we see people here all the time trying to sell lists for the houseware show. Well, we give it to you, um, and the list we give you, we look at some of the lists that really aren't very good. So, um, 
so if you would um, download that list, uh, I think it will be a big leg up for you. Once you download it, you will find that it is in Excel, and there you can sort by several several columns. You can sort by retail channel. If you've got a channel specialist, sales manager, you can give them all of the independent retailers. Um, if you're um, if you're looking for only senior managers or owners, you can sort by senior managers and owners. <clears throat> we also track about 20 product categories, and they tell us which product categories they come to the show to buy. And you'll be able to um, sort by those. So if there's one of those categories that's either yours or close to yours, that could give you a, uh, a, a view of all of the people who said they come to the show to buy your category. I would also encourage you, though, not to just do that, because there will be some people that might not have given us full information. So use the entire list. Um, first question you're going to ask me is why there are no emails, uh, and I will tell you that we continuously ask all of our retail advisory groups, and when we rate retail visits year-round, um, and uh, they uh, tell us that they would prefer we not share the email, not because you'd violate the the uh, use of that email, but that they're afraid that there are, will be there'll be their mailboxes will be filled up with spam. And then they wouldn't give us their email, and then we wouldn't be able to get them to come to the show. So um, that's why there are no emails there. But there are a couple ways you can get emails, and we'll talk about those in a minute. We recommend you take that list and use it thoroughly. I, an exhibitor a couple of years ago taught us this lesson. Um, uh, uh, three touches, and we've added actually added a fourth touch. Um, uh, the, uh, but although it's not directly related to the information on that, uh, uh, on that list, um, maybe someday, uh, but uh, phone, mail, um, uh, of course, your social media efforts um, uh, can work in that regard. Uh, and as we say at the bottom, even fax, you know, you look at your fax machine, it's not very busy these days. Our, um, uh, so when a fax machine comes in, when a fax comes in through the machine now, it's kind of big news. So we would hope that you would, um, you would offer that as a, uh, as one of your ways to get it. I will tell you that the company that taught us this lesson was had a, the biz, one of the busiest booths in their part of the show. So I'm going to turn it over to Dawn. She's going to talk a little bit about Housewares Connect 365. Housewares Connect 365 is one of the most dynamic tools that IHA has to offer. You can reach consumers, buyers, and the media year-round, and the best thing is it is free. Why you should use Housewares Connect 365? More than 1 million searches were conducted by consumers, buyers, and the media for our 2016 show. Listings with catalogs and product images were viewed 75% more frequently than those without catalogs. So those that spend more time putting their list together get, get more attention, right, Dawn? That's correct. The uh, image you see right now is for our Smart Connections mobile application. From your phone, you can either go to your iTunes or Google Play Store and download the app for our mobile application. Uh, you'll find that when you're at McCormick Place, this, this application is the best way to figure out where you are and where you want to go. And tell your buyers if they stop in your booth exactly where the next booth is. Uh, also, all the information that you put in your house for Connect 365 will be in there as well. From the mobile application uh, on your phone, you can download the device. I've got the instructions right here. Uh, to search, you're going to enter IH plus HS 2017 or the International Home and House Show 2017. Just remember this app is free. Don't, uh, don't be fooled by anybody trying to charge you for the application. Our applications are free. Now, how can this tool help you? Um, it's going to help you with your searchability before the show and during the show with over half a million annual visitors to our website. By adding a company description, um, you're going to tell us in your own words who you are and why a buyer should do business with your company. By adding catalogs, product images, video, and your company logo, you're going to increase your searchability and um, enhance the buyers to want to visit you and your company. If you have any in-booth appearances, you've got a special chef or you've got an anniversary, um, you need to put those in there too. Anything that's made in the USA or a special show alert, um, we ask you to follow the criteria set by the government. 
but you can check the box for Made in the USA and receive signs. Buyers are looking for that Made in the USA sign. Mm -hmm. uh, we'll talk a little bit more later about the Smart Home opt-in signage and logo. Um, if your device is intelligent and it connects with an application or Bluetooth, we'll talk more about the special features we have for Smart Home. If you've got any company news, anniversaries, special appearances, show specials, you're going to want to add them to your Houseware uh, Connect 365 company listing. Well, let's see how we do it. You're going to go to www.housewares.org, roll your mouse over the word show, click on exhibit at the show, and then you're taken to the exhibitor resources page. From there, you're going to scroll down towards the center of the page and there's a blue box with the Housewares Connect logo. And you can also see that the, there's a tiny blue box that says update your company listing. This is what you're going to click. And you're going to need your ID and seniority number. From the login page, you'll see on the left-hand side, we have navigation buttons. After you log in, you can visit these navigation buttons in order. Or you can go any which way you want. If you've got your catalogs out in hand and you want to do that right away, go ahead and do that first. You can come back and do this anytime you want, as many times as you want, up until the start of the show. The navigation buttons are pretty self-explanatory. The first one is your company information, address, phone, fax. If you have any on-site contacts, you can add them there. Brands and licenses um, are set. If, and searchable. If you want to um, add special licenses, that's great. Please, in the brands and licenses, do not put registered trademarks in there. IHA owns the website. We do not verify brands and uh, trademarks. So those symbols will be removed. Just the symbol. You're Just the symbol. Don? Excuse me, yes, Don. Yeah. We have a question. Yeah. After the exhibitor submits the updated 365 listing, what would happen if they wanted to update it again? They can log out, log back in as many times as they want, as quickly as they want. Um, once they've finished, I get a notification in our database to upload whatever information that they've submitted. I upload four times a day. I do it first thing in the morning, once before lunch, after lunch, and then before I leave it at the, in the end of the day. So if in that four-time period, in that eight-hour period, if you've gone on five times, I'm going to upload your listing. And the very last one that you enter is the one that's going to be shown. Perfect. For your catalogs, um, it's smaller is better. If a catalog is too large, it will take someone uh, too much time to open up. They'll get distracted and click out. <laughs> if you've got a large catalog that's segregated into product category or product mix, it's much better to make that large catalog into smaller PDF catalogs. Keep in mind, your catalogs must be in PDF format. But for your product images, those must be in either JPEG or a GIF. At this point in the proceedings, if uh, Nancy were here, she would say, just remember, this is a public site. And if you're, uh, I would not put any kind of costing information, just product information out there. Correct. Um, this site is public. It's viewed by consumers and your competition. So adding uh, sheets with pricing is probably not a good idea. <laughs> For your videos, you'll need to go to the, your YouTube link and copy and paste directly from the URL, the entire YouTube address. The abbreviated address that they show uh, on the lower right or left hand side, those don't give you the full video enhanced uh, imaging. So you'll have to grab the entire address from the URL. Again, you're going to go to housewares.org slash show slash exhibit slash DIR. Now you'll see on the screen there's a little red box there. I want you to all take a good look at this. The Fair Guide or Expo Guide, they charge thousands of dollars for signing a contract with them. It's a binding contract, 
and they usually last three years. IHA and our directory listings are free. Never pay for something that you get for free. <laughs> Good advice. Now we're going to go through what your work creates. I've taken the uh, liberty of searching for Casabella. And as you can see, Casabella, um, when you search for their company, they, your, their company name is there, booth number. They've added photos, a video. That star means that they're offering show specials, but they don't have to tell you what they are. And that orange plus mark is where a buyer would click on that to add this company to their private briefcase. When I click on the name Casabella, it takes me right to their page, and you can see their beautiful logo is there, booth number, corporate information if you wanted to get a hold of them. They have three contacts listed that will be on site. And then they go into their uh, company description. If uh, I might point out, Dawn, right at the bottom of that, uh, you see something called, uh, you see a little IBC logo? The International Business Council is a, um, uh, is a subgroup of the International Housewares Association, and they, it is a group of companies that do in business internationally. There is no cost to join, uh, and those members uh, will receive this sign for their booth prior to the show, um, and we use this in our marketing to international attendees to make sure they understand which companies they can uh, uh, reliably go to. Um, if you go to this link down here, you can join IBC. It's still not too late to get that sign in your booth. You need to fill out a short survey. Uh, and you have to uh, honestly be able to sell globally, otherwise you'll disappoint your attendee. But, uh, but that's, a, uh, that's an option that, uh, that I think you might want to consider if you do sell globally. So how does this tool help the buyers in the media? Yes. Each buyer in media representative has been given a briefcase that they can log into and they can save their searches. It creates a custom floor plan and they can communicate directly with the exhibitors on a, a private system. Accessing their saved searches and their floor plan at the show, they can do that right on the show floor. And then they have year-round access after they leave our show so that they can come back at any time and look at notes that they've made or see the uh, exhibitors that they want to do business with. Don, I, I'm, uh, I, I have mentioned this before, but uh, we do talk to a lot of retailers. In fact, we were just out visiting a number of them uh, last month. and. Uh, and some of them are very heavy users of this. In fact, one retailer has one briefcase set up for the entire organization so that they can cross-talk with each other. Uh, this is a really important tool. And the larger the retailer, the more likely they are to use this. But small retailers use it as well. It's a really good, great uh, tool for them. Um, and uh, uh, again, the use, the use is uh, uh, growing. And it really doesn't take you that much time to, to take care of this. So, uh, please look into it if you haven't done it. I encourage each one of you to go to Housewares Connect 365 now and see what you look like, and see if you see if what you look like is what you think you want to present to the buyer, because that's what they're going to be seeing when they come to see you. Just uh, keep in mind that your imagery should be crisp and professional, yep. and let's try to keep those registered trademarks off the page. The trademark mark itself. Right? The mark itself. Right. So a couple other things to talk about uh, during the show, um, uh, and you, of course you can sign up for these now. We do take some sponsorships uh, at the show. All the sponsorships we take, as most of you know, we're a not-for-profit trade association. Uh, but we will take sponsorships if they help us support the buyers in some way. Um, uh, we, we, uh, we have the buyers clubs and the refreshments in the buyers club. We offer, we offer sponsorships there. Buyer lunch areas, buy, as you may know, buyers get a free lunch every day of the show. And we certainly can uh, use the support there. And of course, it's great exposure for you because buyers will be sitting down there looking at your logo. And we have an international business center. And, um, uh, and then we also there's an opportunity, and you can explore this in the marketing kit, there's an opportunity to uh, put your video on a continuous loop on, the, on some of the buses that are transporting buyers from hotels to the show. Um, uh, one of the very few items that we charge for beyond sponsorships is the new product showcase. And uh, 
uh, I think the price on this has stayed the same now for about 10 years, but, but it, it, the value continues to grow. Uh, new product showcases are located in the buyer's clubs in each building. Uh, every item in, in there is scannable. Uh, uh, and as you can see here, some uh, buyers scanning, uh, scanning that uh, email. It costs you $300. Um, and if you do it by February 3rd, you're also eligible for one more opportunity. But when that buyer scans that product, she, as she's leaving and we dock her, uh, her scanner, uh, she gets a list of all of the products she scanned in booth number order and gets, uh, then gets an email after the show reminding her of all of those products that she scanned. In addition, you get an email with the names and emails of all of the buyers who scanned your product. Uh, so that by itself would be worth it, but you also have the opportunity to be entered, if you're in by February 3rd, the IHA Global Innovation Awards. Products submitted uh, for the showcase, any product submitted for the showcase by February 3rd is eligible. There are 13 categories. You can go take a look at the categories. Your product will fit in one of them, I'm certain. Um, we use designers, retailers, uh, uh, big and small retailers, big and small, uh, to judge uh, to, to judge the product. Uh, we're, it's judged in two different uh, segments. The first segment is um, uh, before the show. We announce the finalists before the show, and we do a press release on the finalists. Debbie does a press release on the finalists before the show. Then at the show, in a gala event, um, uh, we announce the awards of the, the best of the best. Uh, so it's another opportunity for you. It's a particularly strong marketing opportunity if you have the, the opportunity to win. You can put the logo for the Global Innovation Award on your product. Uh, it's certainly worth considering if uh, you think you've got a product that is award worthy. Um, that's what the uh, award looks like. There are two different sizes, one for the finalists and one for the, uh, uh, one, one for the eventual best of the best. The page here is a page uh, that covers that um, uh, in, the, in the marketing kit. And we'll move right on to the one of the next items, uh, the Pantone Color Watch display. And there are two values to, for you for Pantone. One of them is uh, that you can have your product displayed as a part of a Pantone color trend. Pantone has shared with us their, pan, their color palette for the 2018 year. It's accessible to you. You can go, whether you use it or not, whether you submit anything or not. Um, and uh, it, is, it, is available, uh, it is available to you now. So it, it's a great research tool. Um, Pantone executives make all of the product selections. Um, you, can, you, can, uh, you can submit your product. Uh, we're getting close on the deadline, uh, January 11th. Um, uh, but uh, in the when you get if your product is selected, as you can see here, uh, there's a company name and booth number adjacent to every product. So it's another great way to have a buyer come back to your booth, um, and of course it's free. Um, another thing to consider um, is uh, order writing at the show. Believe it or not, orders are written at the show. Uh, the show has a, an undeserved reputation as not being an order writing show, but there are plenty of orders written at the show. And I've heard complaints personally from buyers who say, I walked into a booth and I wanted to write an order and nobody knew how to do it. So in response to that, we've created this form, which was in the marketing kit and is available to you on our website, which, was, which allows you to, if you don't have an order form, uh, to create a mock order form if you wish. Uh, but uh, uh, but there, there will be buyers walking into your booth who may or may not want to buy product from you right then. Um, uh, and it will be particularly true if you have a show special, and we'll talk about that in just a second. Here we go. So uh, show specials are a great way to get buyers to come to your booth. I mean, who, want, who didn't want a deal, right? So uh, uh, we don't, we don't want to know what your special is, but you can put it in House Risk Connect 365. Remember Dawn mentioned that star on the listing? Just a checkbox. You don't have to put in any specifics. It's a checkbox, and then the buyers know what companies are offering show specials. But we also encourage you in that communication that you do using the buyer list to say what your special is. Uh, we, I was tracking uh, one exhibitor for a number of years who kept ratcheting up their performance. I think they maxed out at $200,000 of show special orders. It was higher value product, but $200,000 goes a long way to keeping this competitor out of the market for a while. So. Uh, so something to consider um, uh, is to make sure that uh, you, uh, if you think it's appropriate, that you have and promote a show special. 
Um, another opportunity to get a buyer's email address. Um, the uh, the My Leads Lead Retrieval, there are two applications you can get. The first 800, 400 of each are free of charge. Um, you, uh, you will get either a handheld device like the one that we saw in the Buyers Club, or you can get an, uh, an iPhone or a phone application. Uh, the supply is limited, but, um, but you will be um, uh, uh, you 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 will be able to scan buyer badges, and after the show, you will get the names and email addresses of all of the buyers that you scanned in your booth. In addition, the buyer will get an email saying all the booths that he or she went to during the show. I just wanted to interject here. If you're having trouble with the website, there is a PDF paper form that you can print off, complete, and then you're going to fax it back to CompuSystem. Um, they've been having some issues. You do need to enter a credit card number, but that's only for security purposes for the devices in case they're not returned. Uh, you can order it through our marketing kit, or this is the link to the online ordering. And you see where it says a la carte? Down there towards the bottom of that section where it says complimentary, that's the box you're going to click. Yep. All the other ones are charged. Yep. Um, and because of the way Compton System has this website set up, there's no way to avoid entering a credit card number even if you're getting a complimentary unit. But uh, you, you will not be charged. Your credit card will not be charged. So. Uh, I would encourage you, yes, the free option is there. There's some interesting values in the other options, and it would be worth 10 or 15 it's minutes. Worth, yeah, it's definitely worth investigating the other options that completely um, offers. But at the very least, take a free one. I think we're about halfway done with, uh, with them, so uh, if that's something you wish to do, do it, uh, do it quickly. Now, Don mentioned earlier that we we're going to talk about signage, and there are, se there are several signs available to you. Um, uh, one of them, the new for the home sign, is orderable out of the marketing kit. Uh, the other two uh, are a result of the work you do in Houseworks Connect 365. If you click that you have a smart home product or that if you agree based on the certification details that you have a Made in USA product and you click them in there, those signs along with the new for the home sign if you sign up for it will be delivered to your booth the day before the show. Now, if you're an international company, please don't click that you're made in the USA. <laughs> the buyers really don't like to see signs for international companies. We have, we have had a few complaints, so that's why Don's mentioned A couple of them. Yeah. So, um, so the new for the home signs, I mentioned the deadline is February 17th. Um, although, I will share with you that a limited supply will be available at those floor manager's desks at the show, uh, during the show. Uh, but uh, we encourage you to sign up, and that way you get them delivered, and there will be no question about whether you're getting them or not. Uh, the Made in USA we talked about, you have to certify uh, that you are uh, that you are Made in USA, February 17th, again, the deadline there. Uh, smart home products, we will be having a smart home display at the show for the first time this year, this uh, uh, the 2017 show. Uh, it's a featured category at the show. Even if you're not in the display, we want people to know that you have smart home products. If you click yes, you will get one of those products. We encourage you to put it right next to your, um, uh, right next to that product in your booth. And Perry, I just need to jump in here. The smart home and the Made in USA signs, you must sign off on them. We do not have extra signs on show site. Correct. So if you don't sign up for it early, you won't get a sign. Correct. Okay, we talked about follow-up plans. Uh, again, um, we, we've talked about it a bunch, but um, the 2017 uh, buyer list will be available to you um, somewhere in April, toward the middle to the end of April, uh, with the show being as late as it is March. Um, uh, you'll have that. You'll have this, the information that you get the week after the show about the people that scanned your product in the new product showcase, and you'll get the lead retrieval information emailed to you immediately after the show, although if you use the app, you have it available to you at any time. Um, use those tools to make sure that you follow up with buyers. Um, and now I'm going to turn over to Debbie who's going to talk about the consumer. All right. Um, the show generates more than 350 million consumer impressions in um, the news media, whether it's print, broadcast, or internet as best that we can 
determine. Um, you may wonder what a consumer impression is, and that is simply I monitor all the coverage that we get of the show um, through a couple of monitoring services. I add up their audience numbers, whether it's a circulation number for a magazine or a viewer number on a website or you know the broadcast numbers for broadcast coverage, and add those up, and that is what we um, use as the consumer impression. And it's my job to try and help you get some of that exposure, and we offer you a lot of services in the marketing kit that can help you do that. I'm going to take a few minutes to go through all of those right now. Here's a page um, in the printed marketing kit that lists everything. Again, as Perry mentioned, all of the details and the sign-up information, everything is on the website. This was the printed piece was just a brief overview to give you an idea of everything that we offer. But we're going to take a few minutes and go through all of these now. The first thing I want to talk about is our show preview press event. It is February 1st in New York City. I still have a few tables available, about five of them left. It's open to 60 exhibitors, and it's a great way to jumpstart your PR for the show. You, um, it's a four-hour event from 2 to 6 p.m. You get a four-foot table, or I'm sorry, a six-foot table on which you can display up to four new products. We'll get probably anywhere between 50 and 65 editors. RSVPs are coming in. I've heard from Wall Street Journal, a producer for Good Morning America, um, Hearst Design Group. The Kitchen, Good Housekeeping, HGTV Magazine, they've all RSVP'd, um, an AP reporter, columnist, a food columnist just RSVP'd a few minutes ago, and they say they're coming, um, so it's a great way to meet with them, they'll walk around the room, stop by your table, so if you're interested, I would highly encourage you to go to the website and sign up. This is what the event looks like. Um, this is from last January's event. As you can see, we just line up the tables, and um, you can display your product. If you need electricity to demonstrate your product, um, just check out the box, and we'll provide you with the power strip for that as well. Um, an additional uh, benefit of participating is we do a product catalog, um, listing all of the products that are on display along that with a brief description and photos and um, a media contact for each company. We send that to media who can't attend. My show PR team also reviews those products for, um, for product information that they need in pitching the media. They are starting to pitch the consumer media right now to come to the show. And even though it's January, the major broadcast networks and some of the major editors are asking What's going to be new at the show? What new products will we see? And we don't know everything yet, obviously. Um, so they will go through the, those products from the press event and use those as examples to try and get the, the major consumer media to come and cover the show. And we'll also film a brief video for you as well um, that we'll put up on a post-event website. Next is um, the show media list. And as with the buyer list, it's up on the website. Um, it does include emails um, if the editors or media um, said we could provide them to you. It is password protected. So if you are a PR agency listening in on this webinar today um, and you want to download the list for your client, you will have to get the logins from them. We, neither Don nor I or anybody at IHA can give those out to personnel other than the exhibiting companies. So please contact your client, either have them download the list, it's on the same page with the buyer list, or um, you know, ask them for the logins and then you can do it yourself. And we really encourage you to use the list to kind of look to see who comes to the show. And a lot of the same people come every year, so you would want to pitch them, let them know that you're going to be at the show. The 2017 pre-registered list will be posted on the site in late, late February. So you'll want to go back and get down that list. And on that list, there'll probably be over 200, between two and 300 names um, of media who have pre-registered for the show. And best of all, this list is free. Whoa. So, um, now, one of the few paid services we offer is the Traveling Media Tour. And the Traveling Media Tour will help promote your products to the consumer through in-studio TV segments. You will have category exclusivity. There are only about six to eight spots open in the tour. So if you have, um, if you're 
you make coffee makers and you sign up, you would be the only company that's promoting a coffee maker. As I said, you would have category exclusivity for your category. The tour takes place a few weeks prior to the show. We truly go in studio to um, news um, organizations, TV, local, local TV stations out in the West and on the East Coast, and it's like, They'll do a segment with the reporter on their morning programs or their noon programs, and they'll talk about the new products that are going to be at the show. Um, this was done by a, a third-party vendor for us who is very reputable. She's done this for several years, and we usually get, she'll get somewhere about 12 million um, consumer impressions or, um, through all of the uh, TV segments. So if you're interested, please contact Gigi. The deadline is January 31st to sign up. Now, if you say, Deb, I've looked through the marketing kit and you just offer a ton of services to help us, but I really can't do everything. If there's one thing that I could encourage you to do, it would be this new product information for news media. It's a free service. It's a free way to list your new products for the media. The listings go in your Housewares Connect 365 um, listing, but they are only viewable by the news media through their briefcase. So the reporter, they have to sign into their briefcase on 365 to be able to see the special search um, for these products. So if you enter a listing and then you go to 365 and you look up your listing, you will not see these. A buyer won't see it. A consumer won't see them. Your competitor will not see them. Um, and we've made it very easy to enter, the, to enter these listings. There's a couple of ways you can do it. One, either um, on the, your 365 portal page, um, there is a listing you can see down at the bottom. It says marketing, um, marketing opportunities. You click on that, and that will take you to the entry page. And the other way is through the marketing kit page here. You click on new product for media and that will take you to a landing page. And then what, you'll, what you do is all you have to do is enter the exhibiting company name in the box. And so this is easy. So your PR agency can enter this information for you. There are, you don't have to have your logins for Housewares Connect 365 to do it. You just enter the exhibiting company name. It should, the system will find it. It will pop up underneath the search box. Just click on the prompt and follow, you know, follow the um, entry page and enter all the information. There are about 20 different categories. You choose to uh, have the product listed in one of those 20 categories. And as I said, you can list as many new products as you have. If you have 50 new products at the show, you can do 50 listings. As you can see here, um, again, we use Casabella as an example. And last year, they had several uh, new product listings that they entered. And this would be the admin page. Um, after you enter a listing, you, you would have to go back and, you know, go back to the marketing kit page, enter your company name again, and then you'll, this would come up with all of the company or all the products that you entered. You can edit them. You can revise them. We encourage you to enter a photo with it. Um, as with, you know, anything in Housewares Connect 365, um, listings with images are looked at more frequently than those that are not. Um, you can add, you, you can enter them anytime up until the show, the earlier the better. My PR team is also searching these new products for examples to work with, to use with the media, and also to request samples that we would like to have in the news center. We have a product room with new products that we have for the media to show them um, the new products that are out there, and we also will use these for some of the on-site uh, TV segments that we have. Because if we have something like the day before the show, we don't, um, the show isn't open, so we can't walk the show for and find new products. So we will use these listings as a resource for that as well. Now, the second most question I am asked by the news media after what's new is, who's going to be at the show? And the special events product demonstrations listing in the, in, under the media section is the way for you to let the media know if you're going to have a celebrity in your booth or if you're going to be doing a product demonstration or if you're going to have an event just for them. On the Housewares Connect um, port, exhibitor portal page is called In Booth Appearance. It's the exact same listing 
and your agencies can do this as well. You just click on the link, and all you have to do is enter the company name. Again, as with the new product information for news media, you don't have to have your um, login. So we encourage you to enter these because the media do go to 365 and search for this information. And once again, it is free. Now, I don't want to um, give any short to the trade publications. You know, they, they come to the show and they cover it. They cover the show. They like the exhibitors and the new products because their information goes out to the buyers. And so we offer several opportunities for you to um, get some placement and editorial opportunities with the trade publications. First, we have a list on our website of all the editorial contacts for the trade pubs. So I encourage you to look at that list and take that and you and create your pitching list, send them your product information before the show, and also call them, you know, let them, you know, pitch them to come visit you at the show. Then also we have new product editorial opportunities. The trade publications in their pre-show and their show issues like to do little I, items about new products. They like to run little blurbs, a photo, and a product description as provided by the exhibitor. So what we have done is listed the um, trade publications and their deadlines for this information, and also the, the criteria, how to submit the information, what they're looking for, and who to submit it. Uh, we do the U.S. publications, and we also do some of the international trade publications. And I think a few of those international publications, their deadlines have passed. The domestic ones are coming up very soon. I would go there um, right away and look and see who's looking for the, the new product information. This is free. You don't have to pay for this. You may get solicited by a sales rep from a trade publication for advertising, and they'll say, oh, we'll give you, uh, we'll also run a little news um, new product item for you. Well, this is free. You don't have to pay for this. They want this information. So please go and check that out. And then lastly, if you do want to advertise with them, we have a list of the advertising deadlines for all the publications and for the ones that will have show dailies at the show along with their deadlines and contact information. Now, some companies like to do an online press kit. And so we've partnered with Virtual Press Office to offer an online press room. Um, again, this is a paid service. This is not free. Um, you would have to pay for the, for the online kit. But if you go to the website and click through, um, you get the, the VPO site, and it'll give you the information on how much the kits cost. Uh, they do have a small kit with like three documents for about $399. Um, so even a small company could take advantage of that. They, the virtual press office will be contacting the Exhibitors too to um, kind of you know let you know about this op opportunity. So if you do receive an email from them, know that it is somebody that the show is working with, and you can you know feel confident to talk with them about this service. Um, one of the nice things is the news media can download the kits from their office before the show, or during the show, or after the show. This website will stay up up until next October. Now I want to talk about some things that during the show, some opportunities for you, especially one you're near and dear to my heart, the show News Center. Yay. This, this is where I live, literally, um, during the show. And we're located in room S401 on level four of the South Building. So it is very convenient for the editors and the news media to find and then get to the um, various exhibit halls. And in the new center, we will put out your press kits for you for free. This mm -hmm. is a free service. All you have to do is send us 75 to 100 kits. Um, your kits should include a press release, photos, um, catalog sheets, and contact information. If you want some tips on how to put together a press kit, we have those in the marketing kit as well. There's a link how to put together a press kit. Just um, click on that, and there's a PDF kind of explaining what to do. We also um, ship the kits to the news media for free after the show. When they come, we give them a suitcase box, and they start packing up the kits when, when they first get there. So um, we have a photo of how the news center, this is how we put out the new, um, press kits. We have a flat wall, and we have plastic bins. So it's important that your press kit has your company name and photos, maybe a photo or two of the product that you offer or what your product line is. The more visual, the more um, the media will 
kind of gravitate to it. We put them out alphabetically by company, and they will go through, and as you can see, there's somebody who's got a box, and they pack up the kits, and then we send them to them to their office after the show closes. Now, I cannot return any extra kits that you may have um, left in the new center. We ask exhibitors to come pick those up before the show closes on Tuesday afternoon. We can accept paper kits. Um, it, a lot of companies like to do USB drives, so you know we have little holders for those, or if you're doing a CD, um, we can take that as well. So then you say, I want to do um, a press kit, but I don't have an in-house writer. I don't know how to write a press release. We're offering a service for that. Not an app, but a service to help you do that. Um, again, this is a paid service, but it's pretty reasonable. It's $99 per release, and it's done by a, a very qualified third-party writer. And she, she does really well um, you know, putting the releases together for you. All you have to do is answer a few questions about your company and your product. And then in, in about 48 hours, you will get a Word document that is yours to keep. Um, you can print it on your letterhead for a printed press release, post it on your website, post it as a PDF in your 365 listing. Um, you know, use it however you wish. Put, you know, put it on a thumb drive. Email it to the media, um, but that is your press release. And we have a lot of exhibitors who have used this, especially some of our smaller companies. Um, and Mary, the, the writer, will also do some media distribution if you talk to her about that for a separate fee. Now, I just want to talk about media registration for a quick moment. Um, media, we have a blue badge. They have a blue stripe on the bottom of their badge. And we classify the news media into three little categories. Your news media, which is your print, broadcast, and trade, your traditional um, news media that you think of. Internet media, which would be news websites, internet-based publications, and anybody, um, maybe an online editor, say, um, from maybe Good Housekeeping, if they wanted to be classified as internet. Um, Euro Monitor, and you know, some of these other websites where they news that you know, they're just online. And then lastly is bloggers. And that would be your mommy bloggers, your foodie bloggers, some YouTube influencers, um, anyone who says they're just doing a blog. And we try and qualify these people, but sometimes um, you know, they will tell me that they do one thing and then they come and they do another. At IHA, we believe publicity is free. And so if somebody comes to your booth wearing a blue badge and they say, oh, I'll film a video of you for my syndicated TV show or for your website, and they want to charge you, that's not news media. Or if they ask you for advertising, they should not be wearing a blue badge or anything like that. So please let me know um, who it is, either if you can let me know during the show. We'll try and uh, confiscate their media badge and give them a trade gift badge. Or you know, afterwards, let me know, and then um, we'll make sure that they do not have a media badge uh, for the following year. What we are doing this year for the advertising um, and the sales and the marketing people on the media side, it, on the bottom of their badge will say consumer um, advertising and sales or trade publication advertising and sales. And they will be wearing either a clear badge or a yellow badge so you know um, the, the, the distinction between the sales side and the media side. Now, if you don't have a PR agency and you'd like to you'd like to talk with one, you'd like to work with one for the show, I do have a list of agencies that I have worked with over the years that have Houseworth clients. Um, I think they can handle all types of budgets, so please contact me, and I'm happy to share that list with you. They all know that I do this, um, so you know if you you do contact them, just say that you got their name from me, and they they will know that that whole process. Now, after the show, um, as with your buyer follow-up, you really should be following up with the news media. So in April, at the same time the buyer list is available, the 2017 show media registration list will be up. And that will include 400 or so names of everybody who attended the show, all the, the consumer media, the trade media, the broadcast media, the bloggers, the YouTube influencers, the international trade publications, everybody that came. So we encourage you to use this list for your year-round pitching. You know, the show, the show is maybe only three days, but the media want to write about your new products throughout the year. So make sure that you contact them throughout the year. And then also continually update your Houseworth Connect listing because I do send media 
inquiries um, asking for new products, I send them to 365 and tell them to, to search the website there for new products. So be sure that you're always updating that. And then lastly, we will have another press event in June, our summer press event, which is usually covers the, the fourth quarter holiday season um, and products that you will be having um, coming out for the holiday gift giving season. The editors will be gift guide editors that come, and so that will be in June and that in New York, and information on that will be available after the show. Okay, we've worn you out, I think. Uh, we, uh, uh, we put plenty on your plate. I just, I just want to share a couple of more brief things that some of them come up often, but just so you know. Uh, there's an opportunity for you as a paid exhibitor, and a, if you're a member of IHA as well, to pro promote your uh, product through, uh, through our new consumer initiative, fairly new consumer initiative, called theinspiredhome.com. Uh, go take a look at the site. Go back and look at the houseworth.org site to see how you, sign, you can sign up. If you got any questions, let us know. We'd each be happy to help you out with that. Uh, reminding you that if uh, the show closes on the first three days of the show at 5.30, but uh, the lights don't come on and the, and the music, crazy music, or go off and the crazy music doesn't start for until 6.30. Uh, it's called a power hour. We, uh, we, if you've got a meeting going, keep it going. If you've um, uh, if you you feel free to make appointments for that time, buyers tell us they're kind of constantly looking for more time at the show. This is one way for us to do it. In addition, and this is brand new for 2017, you can schedule a pre-show opening buyer meeting. There's form uh, form and information in the service manual, and there'll be more information coming out in the weekly show update uh, about how to do that. You simply tell us who the buyer is, what day they're coming, what time you expect them. We'll inform security, and security will let them will let them in uh, early. And this is the address of that form um, uh, for you to take a look at. Um, uh, on Peak is our official housing partner. You, there's plenty of uh, great hotel uh, deals at our website. Uh, uh, they are only housing partners, so just beware. Um, uh, there's also some information uh, uh, in the marketing kit on the new Excellence in Booth Design Award in March. Uh, we encourage you to explore that with your sales manager. Uh, uh, to make sure that you are uh, uh, that you're aware of that, we will be judging booth uh, booth uh, design this year at the show, and we will be making awards. Some of you tell us they're coming to the show to find reps. Uh, there are two ways we can help you with that. One of them is actually three ways. One of them is Rep Connect on our website at houseworth.org. Uh, it's open listing for every rep who attends the show, and they can tell you who they are and how to find them. Uh, you can also uh, go to our friends at IHRA, uh, the International House Service Representatives Association, and their contact information is on our site at the second link that you see there. The third way is that IHRA has a booth at the show, um, uh, a room at the show, and it's 101B, and they have a Reps Wanted Lines Wanted uh, board there, and feel free to contact them to see how you can get involved in, in that. Um, I presume, since Ginny hasn't interrupted us with any questions, uh, that uh, you're going to save your questions to send them each to us at these addresses and or phone numbers. Uh, we'll be happy to answer your questions. Again, I mentioned that the webinar is, has been recorded. Um, we'll send you a link to that tomorrow or maybe the next day, but maybe Monday, but you'll get it very quickly. Um, you can show it, to your, uh, show it to your colleagues and make sure that they're aware of uh, all of these great opportunities that are available. But please feel free to, uh, to reach out to any of us if you have any questions. But on that note, uh, we wish you a happy new year, and we'll see you in March. And if you've got any questions, you know where to find us. Thank you. <laughs>